So in the previous lecture, I explained. Uh, I was explaining that sequence to sequence approach, uh, which is really easy. But this approach, but this today, I want to explain the shift reduce task oriented parsing. So it uses shift reduce paradigm uh, for semantic parsing. So uh, so I will be explaining this article in a moment. And so if you like that article. With high probability, you like this article, this article, and this article. So all of them are after 2018, uh, very new articles. Uh, and uh, so it uses shift-reduce approach, but uses stack transformers, which is a kind of a transformer, a, ver a version of transformer architecture. Uh, we have amazing scholars. And so this is a flat annotation for a simple query. Play paradise by cold play. You have an intent, you have a slot, some words, and you have some slots. But if you have a complex, yeah, you, uh, you have a complex query, then you have a compos. You can have a compositional annotation. So when when this tree becomes more complex and more complex, then you need something like shift reduce that can just generate this with less error, high accuracy, very fast. Although it's not still good for very very long sentences, but it is it is it's it's good, it's fast. So we use this top representation. So one advantage of top representation is that it is easier to annotate and parse than more complex semantic formalism like logical forms or even abstract meaning representation, AMR. Uh, so you see that uh, nowadays uh, we use these simple representations. Uh, of course, it has its pros and cons. We cannot say that... It is better to use it forever. So in fact, it is its resemblance to a syntactic constituency tree allows algorithms from the constituency parsing literature to be adapted to process task oriented requests. So this was done. This was the reason that motivated Gupta in 2018 to initially propose a modification of shift reduce constituency parsing. Oh, uh, this uh, Chris Dyer from DeepMind, uh, I love all of his articles. Uh, he has written two or three articles about unsupervised learning in the last five years. And uh, he, I think we should read all of his articles, just like I, I read all of the articles of Christopher Manning. Uh, these uh, creative people, we need uh, to read their ideas because they are uh, very, very uh, beautiful ideas and very pragmatic as well. If you can implement it, you, it is scalable and it's very nice. So the contributions of this paper is that we implement novel shift reduce semantic parsing for task-oriented dialogue based on stack transformers and deep contextualized word embeddings. We adapt different transition systems from the literature on constituency parsing, okay? So we test our approach on low resource, high performance setting on Facebook. This is a really good data set, Facebook top data set. And so in a top-down transition system, uh, because you can either go to bottom up shift reduce or top down shift reduce. Uh, we have articles for both of them. And so, in the top down approach, for example, a neural representing uh, grammar, I think that article is top down. Um, and so, this article is about top down again. So, so B here is again a buffer. You need the configuration. So the terminology is always the same. C for configuration. 
uh, sigma is a stack, b is the buffer. So the same terminology and we have some actions. So the actions in top-down transition system could be a shift, a reduce, a non-terminal transition. Uh, and uh, so the bottom-up transition system, in contrast to the top-down, the bottom-up shift-reduce traditionally performs constituency parsing. Yes, uh, first it was developed for constituency parsing by building trees. Therefore, we additionally adapt the bottom-up transition system developed to task. Uh, so there are, uh, uh, there are different approach, but this, uh, this uh, paper uses the bottom-up transition system. So it's, uh, it uses the original ideas that first were used for constituency parsing. So the actions in bottom-up transition system, uh, so simil similarly to the top-down approach, a shift action pushes words from the buffer to the stack. A reduce, so it's generalization of reduce, because reduce KL and uh, so non-terminal L, and we also have K. I've explained it in that article from Microsoft, why reduce K is a generalization of reduce 2 in the current playlist. Uh, so in particular, it pops K. So I think they are inspired by that article from Microsoft because it, it, it is the same idea. In particular, it pops K items from the stack, not just two items. So it, it, the default is two, but here they generalize it. Of course, they have been, it has been generalized before by people in Microsoft. That article that I told you, uh, if I remember, keep the structure, then what? Keep the structure. I don't remember the title of that article in Microsoft, but it is the generalization of that. So instead of two elements in the stack, they use K elements in the stack. And of course, here they use finish. I think uh, they used in Microsoft, they used FIN symbol. So it's almost the same article, but, uh, but it, is, uh, it is a bottom-up transition system. So this is difference. Uh, and uh, in the Microsoft approach, they had a base portion and splitter, but here there is no basis. Everything is just a single, single uh, unified parser. So first, everything is in buffer, your stack is empty. Then gradually stacks becomes long, larger and buffer becomes empty. And uh, we have different transition. Uh, for example, uh, reduce uh, one slot title, reduce one slot title, reduce four in play music. And the encoder, decoder, they use Roberta. You know, Roberta is a language model that uses the same transformer architecture as BERT. So if you watch my playlist on language modeling, about six or seven lectures, I explain how to use BERT. Uh, we have different versions of BERT depending on what, what kind of corpus what kind of data set it is, it is it's being learned. And so, for example, in science or in medical, biomedical, different domains. So unlike strong sequence to sequence techniques, we follow a less resource consuming and greener strategy. Greener is, I like that because uh, your algorithm should compute I mean, uh, you should, should have less, should produce, should consume less electricity. Uh, otherwise, it is not good. So it should be executed on a very old laptop because uh, it doesn't, I mean, the carbon footprint, there is a measure for that in our global warming challenge. So I appreciate this, that they care about these things. Even the art, when I read the article of Japanese, they care about this as well. So, uh, so it's very interesting. But how do they do this? 
Unlike the strong sequence to sequence, we follow a less resource consuming. We extract fixed weights from the pre trained language model and leverage them for initializing word embeddings, keeping them frozen during the whole training process. Oh, I got the idea. So uh, that we define the encoder with six layer transformer. And so their decoder with, with stack transformer, uh, the decoder will be in charge of generating the sequence of target actions for parsing the input utterance. And so it's uh, like the, 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 bear, the base idea is this idea of Fernandez, that author. And so the decoder, um, so if the action is a shift transition, the first token will be masked out and added to the stack. This applied uh, to all pro proposed transition systems. Then another thing is while predicting a non-terminal transition does af affect the stack structure, it will have no effects on the stack. And finally, a reduced transition, including the reduced KL action from the non-binary bottom-up transition system, will mask out all tokens from M stack that form the future constituent, except the first token that will represent the resulting constituent. So everything is a standard. I mean, they use this attention of the transformer architecture. Everything is standard. And they have implemented on different data sets, different versions of the Facebook their data set. And, and uh, so the transition system uh, F1 score of 95 uh, for top. After all, top and top version 2 are very simple data sets. Uh, and that's really nice. They use stack transformers and they use shift reduce task oriented semantic parsing.